Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, back for another week of Brilliant Idiotness. This episode is brought to you by Blue Chew, the best boners in the business, fellas. Make sure you get your first month free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping when you use the promo code IDIOTS at bluechew.com. Now let's start the show. Let's make sure this episode is hard. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Schultz in here with the Richard Spencer special, baby. <laughs> you got it. Sides are gone. Bro, I, I thought that there was just too much... Uh, uh, progress going on in this podcast. We need to bring it back to alt right, Andy. You know what I mean? Oh man, that's right. Oh, that's God. right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. As an alt right, exactly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. No, nah, come on. Let's be racist today, yo. You need to be more racist, bro. How was the weekend? I don't know. Gay guy. What? What? What happened? No, no, no. Should we? Let's start over. Let's start over. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Richard Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> we are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Back for another week of Brilliant Idiot. This show isn't here with the Richard Spencer special, baby. Yes, sir. But that's actually the boosie. What you go in there and say, yo, man, cut my side, give me a little fade. <laughs> that's what I asked for. The boosie. I asked for a boosie fade. You asked for a little boosie. I asked for a little boosie. Hey. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That is the white boosie fade. Bro. I got a white boosie, bro. God right. damn. Chris Chris just moved in the fucking room. All right, all right, sorry. Last, <laughs> la last intro, last intro. What the fuck? Last intro. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Let's start it again? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Let's keep all of this, too, Alex. This is good stuff. <laughs> this is great. This is great. You ready? <laughs> all right. Did you get Chris's ass? <laughs> Not nah, when he moved the camera. All right, brilliant idiots. <laughs> Take three. <laughs> yeah, Charlemagne the God. God damn. <laughs> what are the chances of that happening? That was crazy. That was dude. nuts. <laughs> that really that? was. Glad your gun wasn't in there, Steve. Okay. That shit was. Oh, weird. shit. You really got a fucking pistola. <laughs> Why can, can we hear me? Now we got feedback. God Hello? damn it. It's about to be a take four. We got to do take four. We got to do take four, guys. All right, here we go. Yep. We just do it for real this time. Take four. Brilliant Idiots. Go. Yep, Charlemagne the God. All right, Andy. Hey, we oh. are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Back for another week of Brilliant Idiotness. Mm. Show's mm. been here with the Richard Spencer special, baby. We throwing it back, bro. Ooh. We going back. Ooh. Back. <laughs> Ooh. Way back. Ooh. Wow. Way back where shit gets uncomfortable for non-me. How much did you pay um, <laughs> How much did you pay for that haircut? Say again? How much you pay for it? Um, This one I got for free. Really? No, I had to get it. Oh, for a role. It was for the movie, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. got you. But got it you, is got weird. You. When you get it, you do get a little more racist. No, I was about to say, if you pay for that, you got jip, bro. So, <laughs> I got gypped? You got jip, bro. Now you're speaking my language, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now you're speaking, we throwing about racial terms. Now you're speaking my language. That's my not a racial term. Jip is short for gypsy. Man, I never knew that until uh -huh. yesterday. And you didn't either. <laughs> I didn't know until I got this haircut and I started using it all the time. I was like, woo! I am so but sick. But for real, I you get white people looking at you when you get a haircut like this, and they're like, yeah. They didn't want to make sure, like. No, they're not like this. They, they like, they think like, they know. We got another one. You should just say, it's just for a roll, bro. <laughs> it's for a roll, <laughs> man. I do have to say it. It's for a roll. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, if you don't know what we talk about, Whoopi Goldberg had to apologize for using what they are saying is a Romanian slur. Oh, you you using Jip for that reason. Let me hear, let me hear this, man. Let, let me hear the original. Is that our apology or the original? Shout Let me to hear the whoopee, original. Man. Salute the big whoopee, man. Let me hear the original. Beautiful women. There's the a people who still believe that he got, you know, <laughs> gypped somehow in the election will still believe that he cared enough about his wife to pay the... That was gas. Pay. <laughs> okay, we can stop. First of all, let's be clear. Whoopi Goldberg is black, yeah. all right? Uh, I've been hearing the word gypped my whole life. Yep. Yeah. I thought gypped was slang until today because of this whole situation. What do you think it was slang for? I thought it was just slang for being cheated. Like you got cheated, you and got swindled out of something. What do gypsies do? I have no idea what gypsies do. I they, don't know anything about gypsies. They cheat you out of shit. I didn't know that. Yeah. That sounds, I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, it's it's probably stereotypical. Yeah, I don't know. That's anything. where it comes from. I thought gypsies were like genies. What are gypsies? Nah, <laughs> this genies. is. I'm not even joking. Right, so, what are gypsies, yo? So I don't even Europe, know what gypsies are. <laughs> in Europe, there are these people that the gypsies are basically <laughs> like these nomadic people, and uh, they'll be on the street, kind of like begging, 
and they'll have like kids and they'll give their kids NyQuil and shit so that the babies will be asleep the whole time. Yeah. And a lot of times it ain't even the mother with the kid. It's like the kid's older sister. Yeah. And they're just out there trying to like beg and then they go back and they have some money. Well, guess what? I knew nothing about that. Yeah. All I know is my whole life, whenever somebody cheated you or swindled you out of something, you said gypped. It wasn't until this morning that I even realized that gypped was in the dictionary. Yep. You know what it says in the dictionary? What? When you're cheated or swindled out of something. Well, okay. Yeah. I mean, there's a definition for hateful words. No. It, why is it hateful? Why do we act like words only have one meaning. That's stupid. Like we're, we're, we're really getting dumb. Okay, we're getting so, dumb. Why is it, we don't need a thesaurus anymore. Then. If right. words only have one meaning now, get rid yeah. of the thesaurus. Okay. Throw it away. So, yeah, yeah. I, under, I understand what you're saying. What I'm saying is if you use the name of a group of people mm -hmm. as a uh, derogative term, it's going to be offensive. We don't think it's offensive because most people don't even know that it's attached to that term. At all. Yeah. And in, when you look it up in the dictionary, it's not there. Now, yeah. by what you just said, are we admitting that uh, America has institutionalized racism? Are we admitting that this racism? This shit is on Europe. Uh, uh, it's not on America. How? They started this shit. We don't got gypsies here, really. But it's in our dictionary. They it, brought it here. We got our language from them. Okay, so they bought that. That's, don't put this on America's no, institutionalized no, no, racism. No, no, Don't try to back oh, out of it now. God. Okay? Oh, America's so racist. But aren't we admitting that, though? If you're saying it's a hateful bro, this term. this haircut be making me so if, unempathetic if, to if racism, it, bro. If you're saying it's a yeah, hateful yeah. term, are you admitting that institutionalized racism is in America? It, it exists in Europe. You're right. <laughs> And then these Europeans colonized no. us, and they brought it over. We, listen, we learned racism from the Europeans. I agree with that. I exactly. So it's our fault. We're victims. Straight out of the Caucasus Mountains. But my I'm a victim. But my point is, we got to stop acting like words only have one meaning, yo. It's so stupid. There's a reason when you open up a dictionary, there will be a word, and it'll give you one, two, three definitions of a word sometimes. Mm. If it's used in the proper context, there's nothing hateful about what Whoopi said, and she should not have had to apologize in any way, shape, or form. All right, we'll replace it with another thing. Like what? Blacked. Mm -hmm. They say that all the time. He blacked out. Black male. Black ball. Yo, that dude blacked on stage. Like, what are we talking about? We say it all the time. All right, what if somebody was like, what if, what if somebody was like... By the way, yeah. every, mo mo majority of things that are black have a negative connotation to them. Black ball. Black male. That's not true. Yes, but villains wear black. Wearing black is slimming. Wear black at funerals. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? What's wrong with that? Out of respect for the dead. You can dress well, in white, have uh, a fucking great happy yes, party. Like Wakanda, yes, like Somebody's dead. Yes. Wakanda. But how goofy do they look? Wakanda funerals be lit, bro. Yeah, because they don't die; they go to the afterlife. I hope we all do. Well, not everybody <laughs> believes that shit. That's why they wear black. <laughs> if you really no. believe that they were going to heaven, the afterlife, but, you wouldn't be sad. Yo, devil's food cake got to be dark. You know what I'm saying? That's racist. Mm. All of this shit because the devil has... is red. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> not black. That's the devil is up. white. The <laughs> <laughs> now you with hey listen now you with me now you with me I know it's racist in the other way but at least you're being racist at all, least we can agree on all that. I'm saying is everything you can you can point to so many things in America that they consider to put the word black to and have the negative connotation so if I wanted to be offended I could but that would be stupid yeah but yeah, it had that matter it had that connotation before black people I don't believe that what are you talking about I don't believe that those are words somebody's been making this shit up as they go along bro all right, maybe, whatever. <laughs> you know I guess what I'm saying is like, like you're just naming a group of people when something <laughs> bad happens. Now, listen, they, I just want to let you know, yeah. that's used in the same way. There's Jewish terms that are used in the exact same way, and we consider that anti-Semitic. Like what? Instead of being gypped, you got Jude. I've never heard that. Chris? Very true. I've never heard that. Now, now. <laughs> like, I've never heard You've that. never heard it. Oh, no, 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 I'm lying. Didn't Michael Jackson say that in the song? Yeah, well, yeah, he, yeah, used yeah, the, yeah. he used the big K word. No, no, he said, he said, he said that. He said what Chris just said. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. He yeah. But he also used the big K word. Kick me, me. You never well, said that one. Oh. No, he did. He did that. He said he did that too. Yeah. It might have been the same song. Anyway, he was going after the Jews there. Maybe but he didn't. I don't know. I guess my point is, you use it in that way. And obviously, you see how it's offensive. Now, I guess the gypsy community is very, uh, you know, I guess they're upset about this or whatever. Is that in the dictionary, though? The, like, is that word? If, if I go look up Jude me in the dictionary, is that there? No. Well, who controls the dictionaries, dude? I don't think Indian give us in the dictionary either. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, it's because the Jews no, control them. Jews control all the words. Man. They control all Dominicans the words. Dominicans do. That's what Jay Electronica <laughs> said. <laughs> Jay Electronica said Dominicans control. The, what do you say? Dominicans control the music industry or something crazy. Wow. But wow. that's not in the dictionary. That is not in West. See, that's the urban dictionary. Exactly. 
Gyps, gypped is actually in Merriam Webster's dictionary. And where it's is Merriam Webster from? I have no idea. England, right? Exactly. The English are responsible for everything. Well, stop calling y'all shit English. We should stop calling this the English language. Let's let's call yo, what it. What the fuck did America invent, yo? We don't got nothing. We invented black people. No, you didn't. Yeah, Africa we did. All. That's hey, Africa all day. No, well, Africa no, invented no, no, us all. No, no. Africa invented us all. Africans. You, you invented the term. Yes, you're right. The we ca- invented black the ca- people. The caste system of black people definitely came no, from. No, no. Why are you making it all crazy? I don't know. Maybe <laughs> it came from Europe. Though. No, no, no. There were Africans in Europe. But black people are America. from America. That's the caste system. Yeah, they created the caste wait, system. Wait, but, but now you're making it crazy. No, but that's the system. The I, system no, is the no, caste no, system. No, let's not talk about systems. Black people? <laughs> the caste system. Whoa, whoa. Black people came whoa, from this, the, the, the whoa, caste system. Whoa. They created a caste system. Whoa. You should read the book, Caste. It's a really good read. Who wrote it? A black woman. A black woman. That's right. Not an African. Notice a, a notice queen. A that's black right. woman. That's right. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Who was so the, I want to shout her out. What, uh, what's, what's her name? Isabel, uh, Isabel Wilkerson, I think it is. Probably. That did uh, the cast system? That did cast the book? So that, Isabel Wilkerson, right? We yes, invented comedy. We invented jazz. We invented s- dancing. We invented baseball. Damn. Basketball. I mean, literally. Black people. Let's go. Everything. Well, also, Native Americans invented some shit. <laughs> White people. We invented pretty much all the cool shit that we use today. The all internet, the, saving the, the environment, definitely equality, not doing that. De- freedom. No. God what do you mean no? You just named three things America's failing at. What are you talking the about? The environment. <laughs> Our environment equality. is sick. Yeah, it's dying. No, it's 50 degrees in December. That's success. <laughs> you don't think that's success? I was just up in Calgary filming this fucking movie. It was negative 25 degrees. You don't want all that. All right. I had a conversation about this yesterday because okay, somebody was saying how the, the, the younger generation doesn't give a fuck about like stuff like climate change. Like they they, they yeah. figure like, yo, there's nothing we can do to stop it. There's nothing we can That's do to not change it. Feel. We're not going to be around so YOLO with it. No, no, they don't feel that. They just, every generation rejects what the generation before them thinks is cool. So the so generation- surviving? No. Being alive? Activism. Activism was cool to the, genera- to the generation, I guess, below us or a few generations below us. So the generation oh. below them, the way that they're rebelling is going, I don't care about none of that shit. But nah, and it's nah, fire. nah, nah, nah. You gotta Keep ho- that shit up. Nah, you got a whole, you got a whole generation that, ca- Fuck the that cares about activism. <laughs> they just care about the wrong things. Nobody cares about activism no more. By the way, activism, let me, let nobody me, cares let, about it. Let me tell you anymore. how Schultz works. Talk it's to fuck me. the environment until New York is underwater. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he's yelling and screaming, trying to save his dog. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dogs should swim, doggy paddle. There's a whole paddle named after dogs. I'm not worried about I'm not worried about my dog. The dog will probably survive before the we do. The dog's gonna survive. Yeah, the dog's gonna survive. Yeah, and I live high enough. I'm not living nah, on nah, the nah, first nah. floor. I'm not getting to some fucking brownstone. By the way, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, man. We are going to see some type of a co- apocalyptic shit like that. That's why you shouldn't care about America. the environment. We're going to no, get no, hit by No, no, that's why we should comet, care. No, no, it's not the comet. And everything's no, over. No, no. I'm telling you, Charlemagne, no, no, Charlemagne, no, no, please no. can you listen to me for one second? No, it's not the a comet. A comet is going to hit no. the earth and all of us are going to die almost instantaneously. So until it. then, YOLO. No. Like you can recycle and you can not eat cows or do whatever you want. Me, I'm going after it. No, no, I do feel like there's, <laughs> I'm not going to say there's nothing we can do to, to reverse climate change, because I think the earth is going to reset itself, but the earth is going to reset itself by getting rid of the ultimate virus on the earth, which is humans. Whoa. Where, 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 where would ruin the earth? I don't think so. I think 100%. we've made it so much better. Like, like if, even if you name the things that it takes, that when you talk to people, they'd be like, oh, well, how can you reverse climate change? Mm. Everything it takes is for us to stop doing us. Mm. Dri- dri- driving cars. Yeah. Uh, smoking cigarettes. What, what else, Chris? Eating uh, animal products. Mass production of meat. Cow farts. Cow farts. Saying. We got to go. Like, if we're being totally honest, in order to, to, to really have climate change and nah, to save bro. the earth, we got to go. And that's why it's going to be a wrap for us. Nah, like, the bro. earth will get rid of us before it, nope. anything else happens. No, you, you're thinking about this wrong. And even when it comes to climate change, right? You heard of the permafrost theory. Yep. Where every, uh, the, it's getting so hot that the glaciers are melting and all these new diseases are coming out. But you know what's happening now? Scientists are actually unthawing some of these diseases itself. So they can find so They're cures. trying to figure out vaccines and everything from when this shit happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sounds that, familiar, don't it? Never, never caused an issue ever once. <laughs> <laughs> that never caused a global <laughs> issue, not once. <laughs> Playing around with viruses never once caused well, a global pull issue. That up, t- pull it up, Taylor. Put permafrost scientists. But we're good. Don't worry about all that. Let it, let it, let it warm up. Let it thaw out. Let's go. Like, it's nah, game bro. time. I think we spent way too I mean, listen, long I mean, on I'm, this I'm, earth. I'm with you that there's nothing you could do. 
No, it's not about nothing you can do. There might be things we could do, but don't worry about it because we're going to get hit by a comet and then it's all fucking done after that. So until then, enjoy the life. When the comet will be hit? 2045, right? No, it's not that one. We're in the, what do they call it? The cosmic shooting gallery. Like, they're just comets come and hit us all the time. And in the millions of years that the Earth has existed, this has happened many times. We have many global cataclysmic events that have just destroyed society. Don't worry about this. Now, I, read, I did read an article recently that said uh, it's an asteroid supposed to hit 2045. Yep, yep, yep. Look Could hit us. Scientist, this is CNN. Scientists have revived a zombie virus that's been 48,500 years frozen in permafrost. Great. Awesome. Why? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Why? Maybe it's a fire virus. Warmer temperatures in the Arctic. Good. Which Andrew wants are thawing the region's permafrost, yes. a frozen layer of soil beneath Great. the ground, Great. and potentially stirring viruses that, after lying dormant for tens of thousands of years, can endanger animal and human health. While a pandemic unleashed by a disease from the distant past sounds like the plot of a sci fi movie, scientists want the risk. Yeah. Yes. What? What, what are you scared of? I'm not scared of nothing. This is just all the more reason for Whoopi Goldberg not to apologize. If I'm 60 fucking seven years old and there's asteroids and all types of fucking new viruses coming from under the ice, I'm not apologizing That's for shit, That's what I'm bro. saying. Imagine you spent your whole life recycling, your whole life Greta Thunberg and doing whatever she wants. Only to get canceled around. for saying gypsy. Not canceled. Only, <laughs> only to die when a comet hits. My point is, it's useless. Enjoy life. NASA, NASA tracks a newly discovered asteroid that has a small chance of hitting Earth in 2046. Put your AC on. Put your AC on in May and don't turn that shit off for the next six years. I'm moving to the fucking <laughs> Just stupid. go all year round with the air conditioner. <laughs> I'm going to Anguilla and I'm going to Bali. I'm going to ride this thing Are out, Are you man. going to keep sitting like that? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <Just like this. laughs> What's that all about right there? I'm dude? trying to keep, I'm trying to protect the environment. <laughs> oh, how, which environment is that? Which Actually, you got to sit like this to protect the environment. You toot that thing up, boy. Yeah, that's a little crazy <laughs> you, you right there. You got out. comfy just now, bro. I've never <laughs> yeah, seen you get this, this comfy. <laughs> you snuggled up. So you're telling me gypsy is a slur is what you're saying? Be getting gypped is a slur. Gypped is a slur. Apparently, gypped. everything's a slur. Did you notice yesterday? Seriously, did you notice before yesterday? Of course. I've had many interactions with gypsies. Really? Yeah. And you know what they did to me? Gypped you. That's right. <laughs> That's right. So, at a certain point, you have to take responsibility for the term. Wow. You got to take it. All I'm saying is, if it's a slur, why is it in the dictionary? Charlemagne, because and it's not racist as a slur English in the dictionary. people, racist English people decide what words are bad or good. Well, in the dictionary, it's listed as an informal verb. Hmm. Well, I don't know what they that is. don't say slur. The N-word is listed as a slur hmm. in the dictionary. It says it's a slur. A well, the N-word has no other word. That's my <laughs> point. So how can you be... A, that's what you just said is exactly what I've been saying. Meaning that if gypsy has more than one meaning, how can you be mad at Whoopi Goldberg uh, for well, using it in context? The word gyp only has one meaning. Clearly gypsy it doesn't. has multiple. Look up, look up the definition, Taylor. No, but the word gyp only is used as in... Uh, what's it called? Oh, uh, so if that's the uh, case... Pejorative. Then, if that's the case, then they're wrong for coming at Whoopi. Because Whoopi's using it in the proper context. No, no, but it, it's just like saying the N-word only has one use and you shouldn't use it. All it says right here is jip. I think Whoopi just needs to say she they identifies as a They just added this, as often as offensive. Gypsy. You know how I know they just added it? Because there's a triangle next to it. That's Illuminati, bro. They did that today. All right, good. Cheat or swindle someone. That's salesmanship. You have to jip people into buying stuff they don't like. Noun, an act of cheating someone, a swindle. Wow. Didn't she play a gypsy in that movie where she's in Ghost? Ghost? Nah, she was a medium. Yeah, that's what they also pretend <laughs> to be. Really? Dead yeah. serious. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, so she, no, all, this. Of this, all of this is new to me. I didn't know. Anyway. I didn't know. Well, salute to all the gypsies out there. Yeah, shout um, out gypsies, man. And I will still continue to say I got gypped if indeed I wow. do get gypped. Brave. You're brave. <laughs> what? You're brave, dude. <laughs> what? I'm just, he's going to come for you, bro. You know Tyson Fury's a gypsy. Even the word gypsy, you're not supposed the to gypsy say. The gypsy king. But the word gypsy, they find offensive. They, they like to be called travelers. Man, get the fuck out of here, yo. Dead ass, yo. Dead ass. Yo, black people are racist, bro. No, don't ever, <laughs> no, no, you racist, bro. Listen, it's crazy listen, how don't racist, Don't ever call yo. anybody a cheater either, bro. 
Don't call nobody Damn, a cheater. Bro. You know who be offended by cheater? Who? Chester Cheater that does the goddamn Cheetos. Oh, no Don't way. Don't ever disrespect cheaters. <laughs> oh, Y'all no. motherfuckers need to stop calling people cheaters. Think you about really all, need think to Think about that. all the cheaters. <laughs> they really think about all that. the fucking cheaters, yeah. bro. You, you can't, dude, nobody cares about offending cheaters? Oh, hell no. Huh? You, come on, <laughs> Cheater lives matter, bro. They do. Fuck, you don't know what the fuck you causing, what pain you causing the cheater yes, girls by just fact. calling people Yo, fucking I cheaters. I love yo. how you had enough. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, tell us, tell us how you feel about more groups. <laughs> Yo, come on, let's go. Group by group. Let's go. We had enough. Let's first all, go. First of all, stop saying more, yo. Mm. What you talking about? You offend Mormons, yo. Oh, oh no. Stop saying that. You don't know if you don't know more. They're called more men's because they want more. I thought you know they called saying? Don't Mormons. ever say they want enough. Don't ever say Mormons have uh, had enough. I won't say it. You know I, I thought you'd be a different reason why they call them no Mormons. Reason, yo. It's so crazy to me, man. Yeah. I don't know why you'd be so crazy. Would this offend you? If you worked at this restaurant, yeah, and they were serving drinks named Negro and Caucasian. What were the drinks? Was does the Negro drink come Shut a little up. late? Shut up. Do, do you order it, and then it comes about twenty five minutes after you order it? That would not be the Negro drink. That would be the Jamaican. That would be a red stripe. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a Jamaican red stripe. Would come to you twenty five minutes late. Okay, and what about the Caucasian? Like, if you order the Caucasian, white Russian. What? Oh, is that the drink that yeah, it would be? Yeah, yeah, what White Russian. Oh. Yeah, white Russian. Okay. That's what I, I mean, that's what they, when, when I read the story, it said uh, that the guy was coming up with new uh, ways to name drinks like the White Russian and stuff like that. Mm. So he called it the Caucasian. So 25 employees. Oh, yes, he doesn't want to have a Russian named drink because ordering a Russian named drink right now might be a little uncomfortable. Probably. So you get a Caucasian. But- what I'm saying is when you're drinking that Caucasian, how does it make you feel? How does it make you act? Like, That's what? actually a real drink, though. The Caucasian? The Caucasian. Look it up. It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, vodka, I believe. Well, like, that's I, Russian? I, no, no, it is. It's, 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 it's an actual drink called the Caucasian. It's, it's called the Caucasian and the Caucasian Dude. Look it up. Look it up. Okay. So it's actually a drink called the Caucasian. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a lot of things that we learn when these situations happen and they're new to us. Mm. But I think some of this shit is like permafrost diseases. Like, they've been around. What, this drink right They here. just throwing out old terms. Dude, yeah, Caucasian is a... Pull up the Caucasian drink, Taylor. Yeah, it's just... It's vodka and Kahlua, and then you top it off with milk. Bong. Vodka, Kahlua, and then milk. That's what a... And it's called the Caucasian. That's what a white Russian is. Well, I guess... Uh, you saw it. They have, they have the name. What's it called? Caucasian cocktail recipe. Caucasian yeah. cocktail. So oh, this, so this is ha cool. this happened. Oh, and, it's like and, when we didn't like French, we call we called them freedom fries, not French fries. Okay. We didn't like the French. Mm -hmm. And there's a drink called uh, the ne the Negroian. Oh come on, the bro. The ne no, the Negroni. Negro Negroni. But that's a drink that's very popular. <laughs> Just saying, you know, you, you have a little trouble if you order it, Schultz. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I they had think, a waiter listen, once. They think you I, say the N-word every I be honest episode. With you? I had a waiter. It was a black yeah. dude. He asked. My wife was like, well, what's good on the menu? What should I get? And and he was like, you should get a Negroni. And I was like, what did you just say to my wife? Whoa. And, Whoa. and then I realized that this Whoa. is like on the menu Whoa. as a cocktail. Whoa. But it was a little weird. Whoa. You can't be a black waiter telling people that they should just drink up a Negroni. But that got to happen That got to happen to the Schwarzeneggers all the time, right? Oh, my they God. They got black waiters. What's your name? Schwarzenegger, what'd you call me? How lucky are they? <laughs> Shut the fuck wait, up. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? How lucky are they? What, what, why are they so lucky? Man, shut up, man. What? Are you in role? Get out of character. I'm not yeah, in know, character. I know, I know. I'm not in character. It's just something happens with the haircut. Are you I asked him. I was like, That's why I asked if you in character, crazy. I'm not in character. I am this. I'm method. I'm method. I'm method. This is how oh, I act from now on. Oh, all right. You're bringing up the Schwartz and M word. Would you be offended by this though? <laughs> why, why, why are you even bring but, it up? But that's that? smart. Not, but think about that. I would never say that guy's full name. So if you was ordering a drink, you'd be around like around you guys. You'd be like the Enroni. <laughs> <laughs> the Enroni. The Enroni. No, you could say Negroni. Is this something to be offended by though? What? The Caucasian and the Negro. Yo, Those they, aren't even slurs. No, but call that call that cracker. If it was called the cracker call juice, exactly. Cracker juice. Give me some of that cracker juice. Give me some of that cracker juice. Want three crackers on the rocks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's different. <laughs> Negro and Caucasian are not slurs. By the way, every Martin Luther King Jr. speech had the word Negro in it. That's true. Is this a, I'm, I'm serious. Like, I don't know what's going on in the world, Joe. Yeah. I'm, I, I really don't know, what, know what's happening Is anymore. that a bad word now? What? Negro? Negro. Not that I do. So the Negro Leagues, Martin Luther King Jr. used the word Negro in all of his speeches. Like, 
When, when did it become a slur? Negro became a slur in the 70s? Yeah, I think because of origin on the cover, right? The word Negro was like black. But so, uh, does, but so does black. The word black yeah, refers the, to black. That is also a good point that he makes. The word black refers to the Chris color said, black. African-American replaced Negro with bird in the color. Yeah. Mm. Oh. African-American replaced Negro. African-American replaced Negro. Mm -hmm. But do, Negro do wasn't we, a slur. Can I just ask a question about the African-American? Like, do we really need to put, like, I think we know where you guys are from. By the way, uh, some people don't like the term African American. No, I'm being That's serious. So like, I mean, we're all like, technically I African American. They're trying to be like respectful. Right, mm -hmm. they're trying to go. They're trying to be like, okay, how can we have another term that's not Negro? It's like, oh, what about African American? It's just like, yeah, like we. There's one continent where Black people are from. Well, all people all, in the world. Let's be for real. All people. Yes, all people. I'm yeah, saying, yeah. of course. But it makes it almost makes more sense to be like European American or Australian American or whatever American. Uh, it maybe, makes more uh, sense uh, to to point out where white people are from because there are white people from all these different areas. Maybe not though. We know where black people are from. Not 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 necessarily because it's the Caribbean too. The Caribbean's heavy too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but so not necessarily because that was all. Technically, all of us would be African Americans, right? Because all that's of not us, the point I'm making. The point I'm making is they're trying to be polite by doing the most obvious thing. I don't know if that's obvious though. That black people are from Africa? Not all, not all yeah, black but, people. Those oh, those those black people from the Caribbean, where were they from? They before came from that? Africa, but 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 that's the case. Everybody's from Africa then. So I don't know if that Evan, what's going and, on. And you have Americans. Everybody here. at home. What's going on right now? No, listen. What the fuck is happening? If you right shut now? the fuck up and listen, you have Americans here what who don't like fuck? to be called African Americans. They like to be called foundational black Americans because some people feel shit. like they were here. If that they isn't, were, they, they, they feel like they were here before the slave ships bought black people from Africa. Oh wow! Especially if you go to like down south, people in South Carolina, people in Virginia, like they feel like they were here, just like Native Americans. They feel like, why? Well, and some people feel like Native Americans were black people too. Yeah, Not some, all of them. Some natives believe that. You know what that. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. It, I don't think it's. Just, I think it's a little bit more nuanced than just saying all black people are from Africa. No, I guess what I'm trying to say is there's this name, there's this label that has brought up. Before we felt comfortable just going black and white, right? The caste system, yes. Well, sure, whatever. We Now we just go black. And black is all-encompassing, and it's just like, okay, if, whether you're from the Caribbean, you're from Africa, it doesn't matter. Black, that makes sense. Well, Caribbeans hate that. Caribbeans hate being called black yeah, people? Yeah, Caribbeans want to be called what they are. They yeah. want to be called Jamaican. They want to be called Haitian. They well, want... that's different. That's that's what country, that's your nationality. That's not your race. That's how they feel, though. They don't want to be referred to as black. So they don't want to They don't want to have a race? No, they'll get upset about that. Well, they should be called Jamaican because they're from Jamaica. That's a nationality. We're conflating two things. There's nationality and race. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, black Americans here, we don't have... Uh, country, so that's why they have to just the engulfing term of African. Yeah, I know. I, yeah. I'm I'm aware of this. I'm yeah. trying to explain it to you guys. No, but why'd you say it's a dumb thing? It's obvious. It's not though. You just no. It, no, it is obvious. But no, I mean, no, no. what other term would the, they? No, no, no. I, I guess okay. Yeah. Let, let me back up. Everybody, just mm -hmm. take a fucking. Oh, deep you mean breath. It's, you mean it's obvious why they refer to people in no. that? No. Why? You don't need to say that a black person has roots in Africa because. There's one place in the world where black people come from, Africa. So I don't think you need to go African American. You're like, it's already self explanatory. We can see, we know. Yeah, white but, people, wait for uh -huh. it. White people happen to be from a bunch of other places in the world. It, uh, what I'm saying is, it almost makes more sense to have the uh, descriptive word before white people. So if you had black African American, you could have European American for white people or Australian American for white people or or fucking Argentine American but, for white people, or South American American, whatever the fuck you want to say it. I guess what I'm saying is because it's not as self-explanatory for us. What's interesting is that some people would say what you just did is a form of white supremacy, and I'll tell you why. No, no, you, 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 it's because you I, haven't paid attention for the last 10 attention. minutes, and listen, it's driving me crazy. I'm listen. making the argument. Yes, but no, listen. No, no, can I, no, no, you're not listening, okay. and it's starting to fucking drive me okay. crazy. <laughs> I'm making the <laughs> argument all, that right. all black people are from Africa. No. <laughs> you just said that. The, 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 the oppressive term. <laughs> Yes. Okay. African American is in some ways oppressive because it acts as if the black people that are in America, right, aren't just Americans. They're from 
Africa, Asian Americans, African Americans. Why is it the white people just get to be American and then all these other people are Mexican American, Asian American, whatever? Uh, okay? Uh, what I'm saying is. They do say white American. Oh though. my God, you're not listening again. They so do. No, it's fine. Nobody says white American. Uh, the reason why it's oppressive is because white people just get to be American and everybody else gets to be. This word, American. You know he just changed the argument. He no, did. I have no, not you, fucking you, 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 didn't explain, you, you didn't explain it that no, good the first time. I'll tell you. Whole you point, yeah. the my whole point that I'm trying to say <laughs> is... And I'm going to tell you why I was so slick. I'm going to tell you why I was so slick. He changed the argument to say, yeah. Now you're like, yeah, that's right. Well, how come we don't get to just be Americans? That's not what you were saying. No, you're looking at my haircut and you're assuming racism, <laughs> which is your prejudice because you're a fucking no, racist. No. You're a racist. No. What I was trying to say from the beginning is the other ones are so obvious. When you look at, you don't have to say Asian American. I'm looking at you, buddy. I fucking know. But but, but, but I fucking know. But so, isn't, so what I'm trying to say but is, didn't you just, just let me get let me get it out. But don't what you I'm, negate the existence sorry, of Jewish people, crazy. Scottish people, any white person that's from another, any person of pale I'm skin not, I'm not that's done. from another country? I'm not done. You're, okay. you're not letting me finish. If you let me finish. I just gave him another point no. to, uh, to finesse. Watch. Okay, bro. ready? Uh, the woke <laughs> argument I was trying to make, but uh -huh. you guys assume it's racist because of my haircut. The woke <laughs> argument I was trying to make is that nobody else needs that label. What is it called? A noun or something before American. What is it? Adjective. The adjective? Yeah. It is? Qualifier. No one else needs the qualifier, uh -huh. right? No one else needs a qualifier because... That's Asians are from Asia. We get it. We know you're from Asia. But Black they do people, say Asian Americans. I'm just gonna keep talking. Black no, people they, Chris, are from Africa. They say Asian Americans. <laughs> it's on the census. And, and that's what I'm saying is wrong. I just try to the way you think about what I'm saying. Okay. If you just think the opposite, anytime I say anything to you, think the opposite. That's what I really mean. Okay. Okay. So, the Asian American. We know you're from Asia. We don't need it. African American, we know you're from Africa or your roots come from Africa. We don't need it. White people just get to be American when that's the most confusing because white people are from several fucking continents. You could be a white person from Argentina. You could yeah. be a white person from Australia. You could be a white person from Syria. I don't know about you could that be a white shows. person from Afghanistan. You could be a white person from all these fucking places. So what I would say is if there's one fucking race that happens to be all around the world that you should add the descriptor before you do an American or the qualifier, it's white people, not the others, because the others more obvious. You're, you're, let me tell you what a flaw I'm woke. Yes, but let me tell you what a flaw is. Your argument and you're is. not letting me be woke. The flaw. The, I'm going back to race. The flaw in your Team argument. Woke too hard. Listen, the flaw. <laughs> Team woke too hard. The flaw in your argument, and that's why I said earlier, what, uh, what you say could be considered a form of white supremacy, is you're making it seem like there's black people nowhere else in the world but Africa. So you think that you think that in the history of the world, in the whole existence of the world, there was only black people on this one continent. They didn't exist nowhere else on the planet. They did, in smaller numbers. I don't know if they were smaller or larger. I'm just saying, like, they had to exist other places. And that's the argument that other people have. Like, they say, okay, people came to America, but they were indigenous people, black people already here. Yeah, I don't believe that. <laughs> but see, this is all about what you believe. But that's, some people would say that's a form of white supremacy. Yeah. That's all. You get it? I mean, you, you could say anything's a form of math is white supremacy. I don't agree I'm with it. I'm just saying. I'm just, I I'm, think it's fucking I'm just Asian saying, supremacy. I'm just saying it, but they had, they, I just think common sense would say there had to be black people all throughout the world. Just like there had to be white people all throughout the world. I'll be honest with you. I think the, the best argument for there being black people throughout the world is like the black people that built all the pyramids in, in, in Egypt and Sudan, if there was, yeah. I assume that they were like a higher form of of intelligence and a higher form of technology. And if you were able to do that, you can definitely build a boat and like sail around the world. So I could see them exploring the world 100%. I, a hundred, yeah, listen, we, I think that we know, uh, just basic logic tells us there had to be humans of both hues from the beginning of time. And they probably were all over the place. Not from the beginning of time, I, no. It has to be. It's like it, it would be, it, it'd be silly to think otherwise. Like, no, I think we started out as black. And then I think that the ones that went further north, they needed to absorb the sun better, and they lost the melanin mm -hmm. that protected them from the sun. And um, they also needed to, what was it? I think people with blue eyes are very sensitive to sunlight. Well, when there is no sunlight, you need, I guess, as much of it as you possibly can. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I just think that they lost the pigment. I think we all started out as black, 100%. I'm black. I, listen, I, listen it's been, I'm black. I've heard that theory a million times. I don't know. Like, so you I, think they're just 
White people and black people both living in Africa. White people just getting sunburned to a fucking crisp every <laughs> single day. Well, black people living and thriving, and then the white people just go, maybe we should go up north. We're, hey, we're built listen, better for we, it. Um, we, had a, we had a guy on this morning. Uh, it's a new artist. His name is uh, uh, Stefan Benz. Stefan's six foot two, blue eyes, blonde hair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You see him, you probably think he was from fucking Finland. Oh, oh, yeah, Ohio. Yeah, yeah. South African. Speaks the, speaks the native tongue of whatever. I, I forgot the exact language. I'm not, I don't say native tongue because it's a bunch of them. <laughs> no, but speaks man. the language. You know that Great Britain colonized South Africa and they brought white people down there. So you, so, but talking about, so you think white people. Oh, yeah, the Dutch too. So you think that's the only time white people were ever in Africa? You think that you didn't think it didn't happen until then? No, I think it I happened. Just, I, I think it happened. Believe. The Romans got down there 100%. The Greeks got down there. I think white people went down there a bunch. Okay, but he's still South African, is what my point. <laughs> yeah, but his roots are from what is the the. the he's only yeah. sixteen. All he knows is South Africa. Is my point. <laughs> That's what he speaks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love you. It's the truth, though. Like I, I just think it's ridiculous to think that there was only one race Wait, so what you, on all these what other do continents, what do you think? and only black people on Africa. So you think he's like a fucking albino buffalo or something like that? <laughs> like he's the only white all I'm person. All I'm simply saying, all, all I'm simply saying is, I feel like black and white have existed for thousands of years all throughout this world in various hey, hey, places. Hey, guess what? They've existed for. Hundreds of thousands, maybe millions. That's of all years. I'm saying throughout yeah. this whole world. That's that's it. That's all I'm. But no, saying. I don't think because it's much harder to travel. So like back in the day. Now, granted, if there was some advanced technology back in the day, which I do subscribe to, mm -hmm. right? And if that advanced technology that we see expressed in either like Turkey or, or or Egypt, if it's in Turkey, then it's obviously brown people, and if it's in Egypt, then it's black people, right? Especially the the pyramids you see in the in Sudan. It's like, that's black people, 100%. So, uh, yeah, I see them there. But let's take it out of humans for a second, right? Yeah. We were, we, we've all traveled, you know, we, we, we scuba dive, we seen things in the jungle, things in the jungle. And I'm just talking about hues. That's all I'm talking about, color. Yeah. Everything has different colors. You know what I'm saying? Fish have different colors. You can, you can look at an ecosystem of fish and mm -hmm. they'll be blue and yellow, black, white, <laughs> all just around each other. Like, why do we think that God would just say, Black people are here. White people are here. Asians are here. Why, like, why do we think he didn't, that? He didn't make black people black because he liked the color. He did it because it helps you survive the elements in Africa. I don't know why it was done. All I'm simply white saying- White people are pale and white because it helps us survive the elements in Northern Europe. Sure. But you think that there's only one, you think he only made one group of people, or she made one group of people in all these different places? Yeah. I mean, true. If that's what you believe, cool. I'm, I just don't see it. No, I think we all started as one. Which, which is black, you think? Which is black. Okay. Yeah. All right. Or, and listen, if there's some evidence that shows that maybe we all started in Asia, maybe we all started in Asia. And then maybe we moved towards- I've heard that theory too. And, and then, they, then that's what we are. We're all, all, we're all Asian. So what color do we start in Asia? <laughs> you know. No. What the, that's my point. And by the way, these are just theories. Like all of this stuff is just theories. But what if, what if that theory is correct and we all started in Asia and then migrated? I think that that's very possible as well. We got to find the oldest person, wherever the oldest person is. <laughs> no, for real. Like, I don't know. No, no, I don't mean yeah. the oldest person now. Like, we got to, like, exhume the oldest person. If that person is 700,000 years old and they're from Thailand, that's where our humans started. Maybe it's Africa. Right now, we believe it's Africa. I think the yeah, oldest yeah, person yeah. we found was, like, in Morocco or something like that. But, uh, but yeah, 100%. I mean, I've heard the theory of everybody derives from black women. All I'm simply saying is I don't know. They're all just theories. Mm. You know what I mean? I just look at the way the world is now. I look at the way different ecosystems are now. I feel like all of these different hues, all of these different colors, they might have been around for a long, 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 yeah, long time. There's like evidence to show that like there's more genetic similarities between like a Somali guy and a Swedish guy than there are between a Somali guy and like a Cameroonian guy. So just because people have similar skin color doesn't mean they're like genetically similar. So- it, it, Also linguistically. Oh yeah, exactly. So what Chris said is Chris also said linguistically. linguistically. Like there's certain languages that obviously blend together much easier. But I think that, it, you know, we're visual creatures, humans. So we just see things that look similar. And we go, oh, okay, you guys must be the same. Or you're part of the same thing. So we look at like all black people as like they're, they're 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 all the same. They have the same roots. They have the same genetics. We do the same thing with white people. Exactly. Yeah. And it's bullshit. It's like, absolutely like, like bullshit. You, you got Scottish roots. 
Chris got Jewish roots. Bro, there's Russians that have way more Asian roots. Like, if you go to parts of yes. Russia, they have literally Asian DNA in them. But if people walk in here, all they're going to see is two white guys. Exactly. Two black guys. I don't know what Steve would be. And those two would confuse the fuck out of us. Yes. Yes. <laughs> like, yes. No, Shug is definitely Indian. <laughs> Steve looks like we mixed everybody in this room together. <laughs> yeah, there's no quill. Yeah. That's, all, that's all I'm saying. I don't know. That, that's my new thing for everything. I really don't know anymore. So I feel like everything is a theory. Also, I don't want to be referred to as a European American. I'm American. Oh you are American. So you're not African American. Not according to the census. You're American. Well, we got to change the census. Stefan Binge, that's his name. That guy's African, bro. When I look at that guy, I Shut think Africa. Shut the fuck up. No, you did not. When I no, see that guy, not, all I think no, about is Africa. You did I don't think about not. anything else but Africa. No, when you, you when I see that no, guy. No, you didn't. Are you, you kidding me? You would have never thought Africa if I didn't say it. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. What about no, him? Oh, that's, that's Haitian. <laughs> <laughs> no. That might be racist. I don't know. I just what, came out. What, 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 what about him looks African? I mean, just look at him. And it was so ill because he started speaking. He was like, he was like, I can go back to speaking my language right now. And he was, I forgot, he, he named whatever the language Afrikaans. was. Afrikaans. And I was like, no, it wasn't Afrikaans. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. That's I don't the remember. Language. Was it Afrikaans? That's the language of the Dutch colonizers in South Africa. I don't know if it was Afrikaans. It might have been. You might be right. I don't remember what it was. But he just spoke it so effortlessly. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something, man. I told him he got to do Afrobeats, which he's already doing. He... He should do his music. Why would he do that's anything else? But, but that's what's going to fuck everybody up. Why? Because they're going to see this kid, and they're going to be like, who is this white guy doing Afrobeats? They're going to say white people take everything. They're going to call it cultural appropriation. But they're going to call him a colonizer. Knows. And all he's going to say is, I am South African. Bro. My whole family moved here so I could pursue my dream of music, which is true. Mm -hmm. His whole family moved from South Africa to America to pursue his dream wow. of music. So there's this guy. He's a uh, UFC fighter. His name is Jerikus Duplessis. Duplessis, I think his name is. And he's a South African guy, white guy, right? And he was saying, he goes, I want to be the first African champion, right? And he's basically taking a shot at Izzy. He's taking a shot at Kumaru Usman. And he's taking a shot at Francis Ngannou. Is he, is he of darker hue? No, he's a white guy. But he basically uh, he goes, he goes, he goes, I, he goes, those guys weren't African champions. Those that belt went to America, that other belt went to New Zealand, that other belt went to France. Oh, he goes, that, what, what is I he? train, he's a white dude, but he goes like, I train in Africa, I breathe African air, I work out in Africa, I do all my stuff. I'm an I will be the first like African champion. Well, he wasn't born there though. No, he is. He's born and raised in, oh, he's born and raised in South Africa. Africa. He's the oh, exact same thing that okay, you showed okay. me with the fucking kid. Got only you, got he's you. an MMA fighter. I mean, he's South African. What can you say? I mean, it's, He's not lying. it's great trolling, though. A white guy telling a black dude, you're not African enough. But that's American, though. That's great. That's now, great. Because the reality of the situation, that's an African telling a black it, dude. Say it. That's an African. Yeah, he's South African. That's an African. That's an African telling a black. Uh, that's an African. I don't even know what would you call is, is it. Would Izzy be considered black? What do you mean? Izzy is black. But black no, is, no, no. Black is, is a, an American thing. He's not from America. No, but he's a race. His race is black. Izzy. Yeah. So where, where is Izzy from? Well, he lives in New Zealand, but okay, his, okay. His, he's from uh, Nigeria. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, see, but most Nigerians want to be called Nigerian. But it's changed in recent years, though, because of the new generation that's here in America. <laughs> I think we're all so confused with nationality, with race, with ethnicity. No. Like, everything Alex, you know what I'm talking about. We're a little confused. We're a little confused. We're a little, confused. We're a little, we're a little confused. If you're from Nigeria, you, you say, I'm from Nigeria. But yeah, but all, he's... If you're from Ghana, you say, I'm from Ghanaian. Yeah, you but know, I, you know what try exactly. You're you know, Yoruba, you're Igbo. Yes, 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 but yes, your yes. race is still black. Here in America. And and no, even there. Where too. you're from, like for example, like yes. when we say we're American, right? The United States of America, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but Canadians can go, I'm North American. Mexicans can go, I'm North American. Yes. They are. Because yes. they're part of the continent of North America. So the continent of Africa is Nigeria's in the continent of Africa, South, uh, South Africa's in the continent of Africa. All those people get to be African. You know what we should do? Pull up an African census. Pull up a South African census. See what it looks like, see what it says. 
Flip us up our consensus. But, 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 yeah. For what? For what? To see what it says. To see what they call themselves. Because we use the terms black. We use the terms white. See what it says in the South. Oh, yeah, you're right. You know you're what right. I mean? I bet yeah, they just yeah, call yeah. themselves. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say we keep saying black. That's why I keep saying it's an American thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's part of the caste system. Or maybe, maybe we look at what they call the minorities there, which would be the white people. So the white people that live in Nigeria, do they call them No, there is a term European for them. I think it's a like, you know how we call African-American? Do they call That's the US white census. people European Nigerians? No. The, white hmm. the whites that are living in Nigeria, do they get called like, like British Nigerians? I don't know. Euro Nigerians? If we call black people in America African-Americans, what do they do there? Hmm. Like in China, the white people live in China. Are they like American Chinese? Well, Taiwan, they call Toga. I might be mispronouncing it. Yeah. Toga? <laughs> but that's a slur, though, right? A toga. Means big, a big nose, nose ghost. ghost. That's what they that call the white people there. Why would they say that? <laughs> yeah. Who do you think they're that's referring what to? I'm calling you from now yeah, on. Yeah, who do they think? Yeah, you're yeah, a toga. Yeah. I'm, a I'm a toga, son. I'm a toga, and I'm proud of it. But wouldn't that be considered a slur? <laughs> say again. Wouldn't that be considered a slur? I want to know what they're actually called on the. I want to know what they actually. Oh, I hear them say it when I'm around. On the census, though. Yo. <laughs> oh, the census is Son. what matters, bro. Son. Show them they love the census, bro. <laughs> so that's what matters. If it ain't in the census, it's not real. Because everything else it's we not real. Because everything else we using is slurs. It's, it's on the, the census? The census is what the government refers us to, refers us as, and the yeah. census is what they look at us as. That's true. That's, that's what, true. Like that's what we should be looking at. The, the U.S. census. All that other shit don't matter. I agree. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Ethnic groups in South Africa. <laughs> That's not the census, yo, Taylor. Yo, Taylor, Taylor don't know what a census is, okay? She can't even spell fucking census right now. This is, this is what they use in the government. Okay, so scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Okay, so they say statistics. South Africa asked people to describe themselves in the census in terms of five racial population groups. Black South African, white South African, colored South African, and Indian South African. Well, what the hell is colored South African? Mixed race. Oh, oh, that yeah. Trevor Noah. Okay, okay, okay. That Trevor Noah. And then they have another category, which is unspecified or other, but that had negative responses. So there's Zulu. There's, I think this is, sa. Uh, I, I, X H O S A is, sa. So. This is where it gets interesting, though, because they have the term right, black. Indigenous South Africans, black yeah. people of South Africa, but they're not culturally or linguistically. What's that word? Where is it? Say it. Which homogenous. One? Homogenous. Homogenous. Uh, ho yeah, yeah. Homo yes. Homogenous. 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 But the major ethnic parts of the group are, and I'm not even going to, I can only pronounce Zulu. <laughs> Salute to all the black people and white people around the world, man. Jesus Christ. Yo, shout out to the blacks and the whites, bro. We need unity between the two. Man, man. shout out to the gays, man. Yo, shout out to the gays. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? What, what, what is that? Sometimes you gotta get up in that giggy hole and start screaming. There's a Diplo question to <laughs> sexuality. Diplo <laughs> questions his sexuality after revealing he received oral pleasure. Yo, shout out to Diplo from men bro. getting a blowjob. He nah, said that's not gay. Nah, the way he said it was fire. He, Let's hear it. I right, I got a blowjob from a guy before. You sh you're sure that's happened? Yeah. And you you just don't remember? I mean, you're not being you're saying you're, you're not committing to it, but you're yeah. saying you're sure it happened. For sure. But you don't have a specific memory of it. Like I don't know if it's gay, unless you like make eye contact while there's the blowjob. That's happens. such a straight guy thing to say. But it's, I mean, getting a blowjob is not that gay. I think. I don't know. It's a you tell me. <laughs> Wait, what were we about to talk, talk about? We the talking Riz about is time. strong within this one right here. Because <laughs> um, this is a serious podcast, okay. Okay, first of all, I never seen a dude riz up a girl by saying he got his dick sucked by a dude, but it just happened. <laughs> yeah. That I don't know if this is complete societal collapse, but my man was like, yo, I probably got my dick sucked by a dude, and the girl was just like, word? <laughs> I respected the You're honesty. Crazy. She respected the honesty. <laughs> but she was so riz, moistened you, up. You, but you know why? Because everybody is like this, they're on this whole uh, toxic masculinity kick, and I guess this would be the opposite of toxic oh. masculinity, you know what I mean? People are so against toxic masculinity that what they call toxic masculinity. So a man saying, eh, I got hit from a guy before. Yo, I don't think that's gay. How casual he said, he said, I probably got hit from a dude. Like he don't even remember. Damn. First of all, if you're gonna get your dick sucked by a dude, it better be great. 
Why he acting you know like he don't mean? remember? Like, don't bro. get no mediocre from a man. But that, that's uh, that's also tiptoeing into it, right? You either got your dick stuck by a man or you didn't, Diplo. Yeah, but it's fire that he's like, I pro like my life's so crazy, I don't even know. And then Shorty was super riz by that. <laughs> Shorty was excited? super riz. You didn't see go watch I mean, watch, see watch how she's smiling at the idea of a man giving him throat. Oh, what's up, Riz? She's stuttering. She's stuttering. That's not why she was stuttering. She bro. was stuttering, nah, bro. Nah, 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 nah. That's not why she. No, was that vagina took over. Nah, she was stuttering because <laughs> she knew I'm about to go viral. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what that was. Up. That was oh my god! I just mm. got a moment. Yep. Diplo just admitted that he got head from a man. This is about yo, to go. Shout out that's Diplo. That's what that was. Shout out Diplo. Shout Good out now. That's a yo. new level of Riz. That's how you got to Riz up these shorties from now on. Yo, can I get your number, man? I'm tired of this dude cracking my back, bro. I need some, I need some lips in my life. I need some vaginas. But also, uh, that is gay, and that's okay. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. That is actually the opinion. So. That is the pure definition of gay. What? Just getting your dick sucked by a dude. Same sex relations. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You 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 are jaded. We bro. changing all the words now. <laughs> Yo, come come on, gay bro. don't even mean gay anymore. Gay don't mean gay no more. <laughs> What is it? What is that? I ain't gay no more. Gay means happy now. I ain't I'm gay no gay. more. Gay means whatever deliver. makes you happy now. Yeah, exactly. If you just want to get that fucking esophagus from a nice guy, if you want Fred to come over and just do it up. No, I'm old school. Back in the day, we used to call same-sex relations gay. And that's fine. He got he got hair from another guy. That's his thing. Times change, bro. You're not straight unless you get your dick sucked by a guy named Ralph. <laughs> Lorenz. Yo, 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 for real, man. Playing Marco Polo on your cock. <laughs> Golly. What? God damn. What? Marco Polo. <laughs> Marco Polo. <laughs> Keep playing Marco Polo. I'm going to bite this shit off. Oh, my God. What's Young Miami got to say about this? I didn't oh. see it. <laughs> what else? I didn't see. I don't. I haven't seen BMF. I didn't see that episode. What no, I, no, I didn't no. see the scene. No, not everybody's talking about. Yeah, exactly. I, not, I, hey I, Taylor. Not everybody's talking. We talk about more important shit like dudes getting sucked off by dudes. <laughs> That's important stuff. I wish Diplo remembered you. I know it's a guy out there who remembers who's, sucking who's Diplo off. Yes, he's hurt because that was one of his <laughs> worst suck offs. Bond, man, that shit makes you feel like that whole thing about guys. You know you. You know how they say uh, you got to let a guy. Suck your dick or a girl eat you out because they know they weigh around it better than you do. But that Clearly is, it's not. It's cap, bro. He don't even remember this the, the, the dick suck. Real talk. But that is the way you riz up shorties from now on. What else we got, Taylor? Keep that up. I can't wait to tell my wife what used to happen to me. <laughs> Hell yeah. I can't wait to tell my wife. What happened? Yo, you didn't know, Charlotte? What? Yo, remember when I said I had 500 bodies last episode? Oh, shit. I didn't say which gender them bodies oh, were my shit. boy. shit. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. Your boy shit. was out here. Okay. Your boy was <laughs> <Yeah>. out here. <laughs> this is pumping. You know what I mean? We live in an era where people don't know whether you're telling the truth or not. This is going to be on Reddit as a five-second clip. <laughs> <laughs> this could be a five-second clip. Andrew Schultz admits he was gay. I didn't say I was gay. You're Diplo. I'm Diplo. <laughs> I'm not gay. I'm Diplo. <laughs> Yo, Diplo, redefining sexuality, bro. Get your shit off. <laughs> what song was that? I'm not. Oh, 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 oh. How can oh, I be OJ. homophobic? OJ, I'm not black. I'm OJ. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm not gay. I'm Diplo. Um, <laughs> you want to pay some bills? Yeah. Let's pay some bills, man. Bro. See? Bring you this podcast, baby. Yo, you know what? If you're trying to get ahead from a dude for the first time, <laughs> d make sure that you're fully. You know, bonered up. Make sure that your boner is going absolutely crazy. You might be nervous if you're just trying to get the throat for the first time from a homeboy. You know what I mean? From a guy, just Todd. Todd coming through. That's a good point, yo. You might be nervous and you might not be full mass. You might be curious, but, but you might be nervous. So the blood ain't flowing down there the way it needs so to. So you might need the assist. You might need that John Stockton. So if you want, <laughs> if you're trying to get that John Stockton, right? Blue Chew has got your back. Yeah, what if Blue Chew says they don't want us to do the ad like this? Wouldn't that be homophobic? How can I be homophobic? <laughs>
I'm Diplo. <laughs> <laughs> but in all seriousness, Blue Chew has got your back. If we, if you if you really trying to, I can't even talk. <laughs> if you're really trying to, if you're really trying to be out there, okay, getting full boners, whether you're trying to get sucked by a guy for the first time, or whether you're trying to get sucked by a girl for the last time before <laughs> you go back to guys, <laughs> Blue Chew has got your back, okay. All right, it's got your girl's back. It's got your, you know, your your, your wife's back. It's got all of it. It's the best bonus you've ever had in your life. Listen, same active ingredients as uh, Viagra, Cialis, but this is the chewest one that we rock with. This one that you rock with when you want to explore your sexuality. <laughs> know what I'm saying? <laughs> my point is, my point is, you can get your first month free. Bluechew.com. Okay, make sure you use the promo code idiots. All you gotta do is pay five dollars shipping. Okay. Let's get back to the show. Hey, we got some church announcements. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. No church announcements. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Shout out. I'm going to be out there in, uh, in Calgary in August, August 27th. I'm going to do the Great Outdoors Fest. Going to be absolutely insane. So if you're in that area, if you're in Alberta, drive your ass down to Calgary. Go get tickets while they're still available. TheAndrewSchultz.com. Uh, that's going to be nuts. I just want to tell all of y'all, man. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been getting tickets uh, for the first ever Black Effect Podcast Festival Ooh. happening April 22nd in Atlanta at Pullman Yards. Mm -hmm. I got to thank y'all because at the rate we're selling tickets, we're absolutely going to sell out. So Holy thank you, shit. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Make sure you go to Eventbrite to get your tickets. We got some of your favorite podcasts that are going to be on stage live. Uh, 85 South Show. Horrible Decisions, The Big Facts Podcast, uh, Reasonably Shady Podcast, Checking In Podcast, just to name a few. We got music by my man Louis V. He's going to be providing the soundtrack. We got food. We're going to have food vendors out there. They're going to have merchandise out there. So all of these podcasts that you love, they'll have their merchandise in the Black Effect Marketplace. We got uh, the Business of Podcasting panel. Uh, Alex Media is on that, uh, along with Wheezy and uh, uh, Teslin Figaro is on that panel. Uh, Dolly Bishop, the president of Black Effect, is on that panel. I forgot who else is on that panel, but... Go check that out. That's Get important. If you're a young podcaster, yes. I think that's really important to check that out. Yes. So go to eventbrite.com to get your tickets. Go to blackeffect.com for more information, man. But thank you, uh, April 22nd. And we're going to do an after party, too, because you know that's fight night, baby. That's the night Ryan Garcia fights uh, Trevante Tank. Davis. And you know it's all hosted by me and Jess Hilarious. So... Uh, join us, man, April 22nd, first ever Black Effect Podcast Festival. Amazing. Uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, at Pullman Yards. And I want to shout out radio, man. I want to shout out radio. We was looking at, uh, it was an article that came out this week in Inside Radio, uh, and according to Nielsen, in a historic first, radio beats television among 18 to 49-year-olds. And there was an article that came out a couple of weeks ago that asked the question, can network radio overcompensate for cable TV's declining reach? And the new research says yes. So that article that came out a couple of weeks ago, the numbers that came out this week proved that they were right because in a historic first radio beat television among 18 to 49 year olds. So all you advertisers out there who um, you know, don't want to advertise on cable television anymore, come to death row. <laughs> <laughs> come to motherfucking death row, all right? Come to radio. Come to podcast, okay? We are where the audience resides. Um, new study claims that reusable water bottles hold more bacteria than a toilet seat. Do you care, Schultz? No. <laughs> no, I don't care. As you pick your nose. I don't That's care. Hilarious. Because I don't use reusable water bottles, yo. I do like to pick my nose. If, but I don't use reusable water bottles because they're disgusting. I what agree. is a reusable water bottle? It's like the people wear the, you know, the Nalgy or whatever, those things, plastic water bottles you fill. Yeah. yeah. Like the I do metal that all the time. Yeah. I buy a new plastic water bottle every single time I buy water. I know this hurts the environment in certain ways. But you don't care about climate change, so fuck it. Yo, and can I'm I tell you? I'm you up for that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pick my nose with my fist. I just picked it with this I, one I finger. believe in climate change. Well, not climate change. What the fuck I do believe I believe in? in? I believe in saving the planet, but we can't. From who? Us. <laughs> yes, exactly, Chris. Us. You have four kids. You're not, you're not caring that much. I mean, you know, the, the whole four <laughs> kids generation, the whole four kids argument is crazy, too, because they're not going to be here either. <laughs> when the earth decides to rebel, the earth ain't looking, that's an adult, that's a child. Like, that's, oh, that's they're not going happening. Thanos. The earth is uh, Thanos. Bye. Uh, Blip. Uh, Half of all existence. Uh, that's not happening. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But 
Uh, I do that though, because when I'm in the gym working out, because uh, I got a home gym. Mm. Okay. I just use the same water bottle. Okay. I, I, the same, I go get the water bottle, and it's not even one you buy from the store. It's like a Poland Spring bottle or some shit. Hey. Like whatever I drink last, hey. I just fill it up again. Yeah, oh, that's the worst thing. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, bro. You got to Because you're with refilling it with, and then the plastic, all this plastic shit that gets into the water as well. That's horrible. That's how you catch hey, it, man. Yeah. Save the fucking turtles, man. What is it? The BPA? Stop something? using straws, bro. No, no, no. The turtles don't get affected by straws. You know how you do that? This is how you, this is how you do that. If you want to save the turtles, you want to stop using straws. Go back to using dollar bills to sniff cocaine in your pinky. You know what I'm saying? Why a dollar? You got to use the higher bills. That's a, pro, that's a pro tip for climate change. Uh. You want to save the planet, uh. stop using straws to sniff cocaine. Mm. Go back to using dollar bills and use your fucking pinky. Which dumb fucking turtle ate a straw and then ruined it for the rest of us? Because <laughs> if some fucking idiot turtle decided to bite on a fucking straw and that one picture ruined straws. And now every time I have an iced coffee, I have this flimsy paper mache straw why that they ruins never, my experience. Why they never use the Ninja Turtles for like ads? Thank like, you. Dude. I had the turtles on the beach They're kicking people resilient. in the fucking face for using straws. You know what I'm saying? That'd be fire. They fight back. That, snapping yes. turtles. Snap back, <laughs> yes. bro. You're talking about how strong your jaw is. Yes. You can't snap off a fucking straw. Look at this idiot. <laughs> Look at this fucking dumb turtle, man. <laughs> you think male snapping turtles complain about head from female snapping turtles? Oh, oh all the time. It's one of the biggest complaints. You haven't been on their Reddit? <laughs> Dude, male snapping turtles have a insane Reddit talking about how these girls be using beak like yeah, crazy. Man. Come on, man. Who doesn't do foreplay? Turtles? Oh, you just think they just get to smashing? There was that one turtle, Alejandro, which like single handedly brought back his entire species. Did you see that? No. There's this one turtle, he was like 100 <laughs> years old or something like that, and they put him on the island. They, they, his species were going extinct, and he single handedly fucked themselves back into the ecosystem. <laughs> Look him up. I think it's Alejandro, obviously Mexican. <laughs> there, look him up. Or Diego or some shit like that. Look it up, 100%. Not even his name. Look it up. Look it up. Turtle that saved the turtles. Turtle that saved the turtles. Look turtle. that shit up. You're going to see. You're going to see. It wasn't fucking Raphael. It wasn't Donatello. It was, it was motherfucking Diego or Alejandro. And he was out there. It wasn't was the it? Italians. Diego. It was Diego dicking down, bitches. It wasn't the Italians. It was the fucking... The turtle that saved his species Jesus from extinction. Bam, bam, bam. Damn. Yeah. 900 offspring. 900? 900? Nick Cannon the turtles, bro. That's facts. <laughs> God damn. What else we got, Taylor gang? Come on. We running through the week, baby. Taylor. All right. What else we got? What Do you mean? people really care to... Uh, I mean, that, that tour is going to be amazing. Yeah, oh, right. this is hilarious. No, no, no. Colin Kaepernick says he knows his white adoptive parents loved him, but they were very problematic things that occurred during his upbringing. Do we have the, the video of that? What's the problematic thing? Do you have the video, Taylor? Play the video of this, Taylor. Wait, what? This is... Play, wait, what, play, what, what, play the what, video, Taylor. What's happening, Taylor. Charlotte? What's happening? Play the video, Taylor. Are you off the Colin Kaepernick uh, nah, I, I, listen. I, I've, Colin, I, what do you mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Train. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what that means before I answer this question. That's hilarious. What does that mean? Are, are you losing support for Colin and his uh, efforts? What are Colin's... Here's the thing. I always had support for Colin's initial efforts. His initial efforts was he took a knee because of the police brutality that was happening to unarmed black and brown people. Mm. I was always in support of that. At some point, things got derailed when... They wouldn't let him back in the good. NFL. Train derailed. That was good. Mm, that was <laughs> some good. things chosen. At, but no, at some at some point things got a little sketchy because it became about him being, I guess, blackballed from the NFL and didn't as and, opposed to right the protest. Because the issue isn't you and your career. The issue absolutely. Is the I'm all for. I'm 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 still all for him and his efforts to fight police brutality. The I never understood the NFL thing, especially being. After you, you know, point out how problematic you believe the NFL is, comparing the NFL to a plantation, mm. and then still wanting to be in the league, I never understood that. I never understood that. Oh, your hair's not professional. Oh, you look like a little thug. Your mom become. said that to you. Yeah. And those become spaces where it's like, okay, how do I navigate this situation now? But it also has informed why I have my hair long today. The grown-up 
version of Eve wanted to go back in time and give young Colin mm -hmm. a lot of hugs. And I was really moved and saddened by the level of kind of self-awareness that he had pause. to develop at a very young age. We can go back oh my, go. oh my God. A parent didn't like their kid's haircut. Never has happened in history. Welcome to being a child and having parents. As a, That's what as, your mom's saying to you right as now. A black man, Probably. <laughs> as, a, as a black man who used to be a black boy, black teenager, uh, when I had an afro and I was getting cornrows and stuff, same thing same happened to thing me. Same thing happened. And I don't have white parents. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I have God. a black mom and a black dad who did not like that, especially when I started wearing Chuck Taylors and Snoop Dogg had that murder case. Boom. When Snoop Dogg had that murder case, my dad had a fit. Oh, you think you Snoop Dogg? <laughs> oh, you think you Snoop Dogg? Oh, no, no. He made me, especially when I was getting in trouble in school, yes. he made me cut my hair because for whatever reason, me having a big afro and wanting to get cornrows yes. and wearing Chuck Taylors equated to me wanting to be a thug or I'll never be able to get a good job or anything else. Like, I don't think that's something that's exclusive to race. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but when you see everything through the lens of racism, you're going to find it. And that's what he sees right here. And well, I will say technically, I, I will say it is slightly through the lens of racism because my parents may have been thinking about how the world would have perceived me. That's what his parents were thinking too. But isn't that racist though? No, they're going, the world is racist. So we have to protect you from the racist world. Yeah. Yeah. So it is through the lens of racism. I'm saying it was all, it's all through the lens of racism. Yeah, but the, the parents weren't doing it because they're ignorant racists, which is how he's positioned. Oh, no, no. Here. They weren't doing it because they were racist. Yeah. yeah they yeah, just yeah, know yeah, that yeah, the yeah. world looks at those yeah, cornrows in absolutely. a certain way. Now, also, the reason why you want them is because the people that are badass and cool and rebellious in society are the ones wearing them. And when you're a young person, you're trying to find your own identity. And you find that by breaking free from those people who are telling you what to do, which are your parents. So of course you're going to gravitate to, I had cornrows when I was a fucking kid for the same reason. I was you like, did, you did have cornrows. Of course I did. Andrew Schultz had cornrows. And you know what my parents I seen the said? Picture. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> That's how you know they're racist. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even look out for me. You know what I mean? They just let me walk around like an asshole with motherfucking cornrows. It don't look the same on white people, though. It look better, right? It don't look intimidating. <laughs> like, it don't, that like there, shit there's was nothing so about fire. it that looks like, uh, yeah, it looks no. goofy. Like, it does. Like, yeah. Uh, That's the beauty of being white. You know what? You probably always showed signs of being a comedian. <laughs> they always knew he was like, He's so So when zany. you got the cornrows, it's like, there goes Andrew yeah, being Andrew. Being silly goose. <laughs> I was such a silly goose with my cornrows. <laughs> you can't really be a silly goose as a black dude with the cornrows, huh? Uh, no. Yeah. no You're yeah. a thug real quick. No, it is. Seriously. <laughs> it is, yeah. It is, especially if people don't understand the culture. I think yeah. people are just getting to the point where they understand, like, all right, that don't mean that a person yeah. is thugged out because they got dreadlocks or because they got cornrows. This is really sad because it almost feels like he knows that he, because he's selling a book right here. That's what it is, right? Yeah. It's a graphic novel. So he's like, he's grifting off of racism, and now he's willing to sell his parents out oh, just so he can profit off of racism. That's what this feels like. I don't know if that's his intention, but it feels like right now he's willing to call his family that raised him racist so that Man. he can sell graphic novels. Man, if they take the adoption back, how did, bro, <laughs> you should be able to do that, bro. <laughs> You should be able to do that. Nah, you're not our son, bro. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I mean, yeah, that, that I wouldn't call that. It's really disappointing, man. I don't, yeah, I wouldn't, I don't know if I would, I don't think that's a, I think all parents have done that. Black, you know, if you're a white parent that a, a black, a black, young black man, I think you have done that before. If you're a black, I definitely know my parents did that to me. Yes. A hundred percent. Yes. But, um. Yeah, man, go get Colin's graphics now. <laughs> I I I, go get his graphics now. I mean, like, Yo. who's reading that? Who? Wh where's the audience for this? Yeah, probably it'll probably hit the New York Times bestsellers list. Logic. Is that oh, who the logic. rapper? <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ! Wait, why is why is Logic? I in think shock? he would. I think he would have uh, enjoyed it. Oh, really? He could identify. Oh, poor Logic! Oh, Shout man. out Logic, man. Okay. Logic wasn't adopted, was he? No, I think nah, his dad is black, his mom is white. But he's, he's biracial Let's call time too. Out. Oh. Let's call time out for a second. Well, well, <laughs> I want to call time out. Oh, Jesus. I'm running the play just for Schultz right now. Okay. All right? Okay. I'm running the play just for Schultz. Yeah, yeah. All right, game back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mexico's president says his country is safer than the U.S. Keep it up. <laughs> Keep it up. 
Keep talking that shit, my boy. Keep talking that shit, my boy. Mr. Obrador, President Obrador. You're going to get up if you keep talking that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your country's safer than ours. That's crazy right there, right? How often, how often Mexicans get kidnapped when they come here and put in cages? <laughs> how often does that happen? How often do Mexicans get kidnapped and put in cages when they come to America, President Obrador? What the f*** are you talking about? <laughs> That's crazy right now. Talking this blasphemous ass shit. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> is that what you wanted from me? What? Is that what you wanted? Did you I want me? The ISO, Yo, man. you did call it ISO play. You said move out the way. <laughs> He's going to the hole. And your boy went for it because you know I got charged oh, up. Oh, That's man. the president of Mexico? That looked like the president of Ireland. <laughs> you telling me that guy's from Mexico talking shit about America not being safe? Man. That motherfucker needs eight hours of sleep. Okay, okay, that's he a good note. He got pinto okay. beans under his eyes, yo. <laughs> okay, let's talk about it. I love Mexico. Where did Mexicans, where did Mexicans, yeah, Mexicans come from? Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Or no? Wait a minute. That seemed like an easy one I, I fucked know. up. Oh, Wait hold on. Hold on. Shout out Mexico, oh, bro. Man. Mexico, the greatest, what greatest people. Taylor? Mexican's really the greatest people, yo. But his yeah. president need to chill the fuck out. Yeah, but I'm not going to Mexico no time soon. They, you rich as hell. No, they said don't go to Mexico. I'm not going. No, nah, that's hate. That's hate. You got to go to Mexico. I'm not going. Um, you going? Taylor, what they going to steal? A Metro card? <laughs> They gonna steal Taylor's. <laughs> what they gonna steal, Taylor? I'm gonna steal my Ooh. I ain't fucking with it. I, I all I need is one time to be told not to go somewhere, and I'm not going. Uh, did he just put his uh name in the hat to buy BET? Whoa. He joins the list that includes Byron Allen and Tyler Perry. Uh, I'm all for it. Only thing I would say is. If you have the money to buy BT, why not just put that money into the network you already own, which is Revolt? You know what I'm saying? Uh, like you already own a television network, Diddy. And I'm listening, I'm I'm all for you owning multiple networks as well, but I don't see you buying BT and then still focusing your energy on Revolt. You know? I'm just saying, if you got the money and you got the resources to buy BT, you know, just put more money into Revolt. Cause that's always the thing people say that, you know, Revolt don't have no money. Mm. So why not put that money in the revolt, you know, get pro get better programming, you know, uh, have more cable providers carry you. I don't know how that works. You know mm. what I'm saying? I just, it just feels weird to go out there and try to grab another network when you already own one, you know? Uh, yeah, I think that makes sense, my bro. That's a good point. I see that there could be some frustration. <laughs> I think it's a smart play just to put his name in the hat. Exactly. Because like, now it's like <laughs> he's with all it, those other guys. He doing, he doing like the North Korea shit. Where, you know, he's like, I'm going to blow up everybody. And yeah, everybody you got nukes, talks I got about nukes too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Let's do some Asking Idiots, let's man. Let's do it, man. Let's do some Asking Idiots, we man. we ask some idiots. We don't got no more ads, right? No. All right. Uh, Jeffrey Knowles wants to know, what is an embarrassing moment that happened to you? Are you witness that made you laugh? Hmm. An embarrassing moment that happened to me that I witnessed that made me laugh. Uh, here's an embarrassing moment. I was uh, hooking up with a girl one time, and I was getting that neck. That snapper turtle. That snapper. I was that getting snapping that snapping turtle. turtle. And then uh, I was enjoying it, and I went, and I went, and I went, hells yeah. <laughs> 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 right? What? <laughs> and literally, as she goes down on it, I go, hells yeah. And then she just goes, Oh, wow. And just laughs. <laughs> and just laughs at me. She goes, Did you just say hells yeah? <laughs> 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 and in retrospect, it is the cringiest thing yeah. to say while you get ahead. Like, you can say a lot of different things, but you can't go hells yeah. <laughs> Why not? Because like, you could be like, Oh my God. Or you could be like, Yeah. Like, say the hell yeah. No, no. Hells. Hells sound crazy. With yeah, a Z at the end? <laughs> yeah, hells, hells with a Z yeah. sound crazy. Hells yeah. But you should throw that out to see if a girl's really about that life. Like when a girl's doing yeah, it. Yeah, right yeah, as yeah, she goes yeah, down, yeah, she's yeah, like, yeah, Hells yeah. 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 Hells, hells yeah. yeah. Hells yeah. Hells yeah. With a, like your mouth like this. Hells yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, it, well, that's the best way to get ahead. I don't know if I get in, I get in, I haven't gotten embarrassed in a long time. Come on, bro. In a Remember long that time. time? 
I haven't been embarrassed in a long time. Come I get embarrassed for other people. Say what? You know, other you see somebody else in an embarrassing uh, you situation. You love that. Nobody I loves. I do. Nobody I loves do. public so humiliation much. like so Charlemagne the guy. So, so, so tell I me what so happened. Much. Like the other day, two days ago, we were in an interview. Matter of fact, we were interviewing John. It was today. We were interviewing John Legend. And Envy asked John Legend oh boy, about the top 100 Rolling Stone list, right? Yeah. So Envy goes, did you see what Reba Franklin had to say about that? <laughs> Who? Reba Franklin? Aretha Franklin. But he said, you should, did, he said, John, did you see what Aretha Franklin said about the Rolling Stone list? <laughs> and everybody just looked at him like, Aretha Franklin is dead. <laughs> oh, so who did he mean? <laughs> then he didn't even say Shaka Khan. He goes, no, no, Patty LaBelle. Oh, no. And then he goes, no, 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 Stephanie Mills. <laughs> and then he got the shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? What'd you do? Did you, you didn't let him off the hook. You no, were killing that much. not. Come on, man. Come on, man. I loved it. <laughs> but I mean, stuff like that is funny. Pew, pew. I wasn't embarrassed for him. That just was funny. Wait, what is I, don't, that? I don't think there's anything. Is being, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't think shame exists anymore. Sure so mean. there's no need to be embarrassed. Who's embarrassed when there's no shame? Ooh. There's no shame anymore. Motherfuckers is doing anything, anytime they want to, mm. everything they want to, mm. everywhere they want to. There's no such thing as shame anymore. Mm. So what the fuck? I feel like Bow Wow used to get shamed a lot. Yeah, but that... Like every time he would try to front online and sh shit like that, people would shame him. But was he embarrassed? He might not have gave a fuck. He kept doing it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Oh, he, kept, yeah. he started feeding into yeah. it. Maybe he didn't give a fuck. I don't. I, I haven't been embarrassed. I'm trying to think when the last time I've genuinely been embarrassed. I really cannot remember, bro. Never. I'm not saying never. Of course, like when I was young. Yeah. But I just can't even remember what that would have been. I've sharted on myself, bro. When? 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 As a grown ass adult. When though. Uh, I was 20 something years old. I was doing radio in Columbia, South Carolina, working at Howard 039. I dropped my now wife off at her dorm. She, she was going to the University of South Carolina. I dropped her off. I had to shit real bad. I just had ate some Jamaican. I went to the Jamaican spot the night before called Cool Running. And that shit just all hit me at once. And I thought, I'm going to let a little gas out. No. Nope. You know what I'm saying? They always get you. And like this will tie me over till I get to the crib. Yep. And it didn't. Yeah. And I shot it. And it was bad, like, <laughs> like shit all in my pants, oh, all running down my legs. Oh. And I just was driving like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is how, how it goes sometimes. And the only thing I was hoping was that my next door neighbor at the time, her name was Treese, I was hoping she wasn't, because her and her friends used to sit outside. So I was just hoping that if I pull up, they not sitting outside. But I already had it planned out. I'm, I'm, I'm going to park somewhere else if they sitting outside until it gets dark. <laughs> you gonna sit there? I'm gonna sit there until it gets dark. I was bad. I, I ain't talking about no little bit of shit. Like it was bad. Like <laughs> what type okay. of pants were you wearing? I had on some uh some black, either Jinko or a Nietzsche jeans. And I used to love Joe. No, Esco, they were black Esco jeans. Remember the Nas had a clothing yeah, line yeah, called yeah, Esco? Yeah. I had some black Esco jeans. Now I did feel shame when I took them to the cleaners. <laughs> you I didn't just burn them, bro? No, I took them to the cleaners. But wow. I never went back for them. That's fine. <laughs> That's, That's how I know I was ashamed. Yeah. I took them to the cleaners, but never went back. But home. they That's still true. know you dropped them off. That's true too. Nobody knew me back then. Not like that. Was right. Not like that. <laughs> well, he mean? didn't go to the cleaners regularly. I don't think. Oh uh, yeah. I just felt too ashamed because the way he looked at him when I when I took him in. He now when you put him on the counter, he's yeah, like, yeah. oh, you know what I mean? Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Did you finish the shit? Oh, in the car. Once that, once that, <laughs> shot, once that first shot came out, You're I was like, like fuck it, well, fuck yeah. it, you fuck just it, bro. Really? The whole, the fuck whole it, thing. fuck it, <laughs> fuck it, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> no, I had a Honda fucking Civic with cloth seats. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no. it was bad. It was bad. Oh, no. it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. It was oh, bad. Like, you know, just when you didn't have no money to really like do interior cleaning of your car. Yeah. So that smell was in there for a while. No. Damn. I go, wow. Did your wife smell? Oh yeah. What's that no. smell? I'm like, I don't know, yo. What the fuck? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Once you shot on yourself, you don't have no shame. Yeah. Once you shit on yourself in that way, you don't care no more. Yeah. You don't care no more. <laughs> I took a shit, I took a shit on myself when I was riding a bike once. Really? Yeah, yeah. And I was like almost at my friend's house and I was so close. And uh and I and I took a really big pedal to like push, and then I shit myself, and then 
Every time I pedaled after that, like a little shit would just fall out the fucking <laughs> Let's shirt, go. Dude. Yeah. Let's yeah. go, Sean yeah, Armstrong. Yeah, yeah. Yo, shit. Let's shock do it. Armstrong. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> no, but shit on yourself is fire, bro. <laughs> no, no. no, you see why babies do yeah, it. Yeah. Like if you if you like yeah. you would walk around with it. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. It's it, it's a it's something to it. It's great. Nah. You've never done it as an adult. If you've done it as an adult, you'll know what we mean. It's like, exactly. man, fuck it, bro. Yeah, like, you don't care. You don't care. Fuck it. Yeah. You'll never have shame again. You shit on yourself as a grown person. Shit on yourself, yo. I, I'll appeal myself, yeah. Like, I mean, that's in the bed, though. You do that in the bed. Yeah, just in the bed. You're too tired to get up. You're like, Let me I'm just not going to lie, yo. In my adult life, I've been having the, you know how you had a pee dream? I've been having a shit dream, bro. And I don't know if it's a dream or not. <laughs> no, I haven't shit it, but you can shit the bed. I, I, I be feeling like I'm groundhogging in my dream. So he uh, shit the bed. Yo, I shit the bed. <laughs> shit the bed. I didn't tell you this? No. I'm in Paris with my wife having romantic weekends. Okay? I wake up, there's fucking brown shit all over the sheets. I said, babe, you got your period. I said, babe, you got your period. Go downstairs and clean your period off of the sheets. You got the fucking period all over the sheets. Oh, you got a two-story joint? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, I I go, wake up. She says, I don't think I have my period. I go, you got your period. This shit is gross. You got your fucking period all over the goddamn sheets. It's going to be embarrassing. We in this hotel. They're going to have to clean. I went downstairs, and I'm, I'm walking downstairs. My underwear felt mad cold. I'm like, why does my underwear feel so cold? And I go downstairs and I take them off to get in the shower. And then I look and there's a log of shit in my fucking <laughs> underwear. <so. laughs> there's a log of shit. I said, baby! That, you, you, we know what happened. What happened? You did that butt play in Paris. That's what that was. <laughs> like before you let wifey do them anal beats. Damn. <laughs> you, you think that that's, that's what, happened? what happened? She gave me that Eiffel Tower? You got pissed. She gave me that Eiffel, <laughs> Eiffel Tower? Tower? Is that what happened? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, let's do one more, man. I got to get out of here. Let's see what else we got. Oh, what place have you not been that is still on your bucket list, oh, Charlemagne? So many. Um, I mean, so many. Like, ugh. I well, there's a few. I'm going to one next month. Um, Can you tell or no? No, nah, I'll tell y'all after the fact. Okay. You know how I do. Because uh, my doctor said I need to take a vacation a month, you know, to reduce stress levels. So I'm going to do that. And, and, you know, du- Duval, uh, I vacation a lot, but Duval called me yesterday. And, you know, he was just like, man, whatever the fuck you want to do, go do it, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because life is short, so. Why do you say that? Um, Probably everything that's going on with our good brother Clay. Salute to Clay. Oh, what's up with Clay? I'll tell you after the pod. But, yeah, salute to Clay. Um, But, yeah, I'm going somewhere next month. But I want to go to Bali. Oh, yeah. You know, That'd I want to cool. go to Japan. I've never been to Japan. I know a lot of people have already been to these places, but really, ba- Bali and Japan are probably the two places I really, really, really want to go, especially yeah. Bali. Hell yeah. What about you? Hells yeah. Um, Bali would be cool. You ever been to Bali yet? I've never been, no. Oh, wow, wow, wow. No, no. I, w- I would like to go to Bali. Uh, I'd like to do, I want to go back to Egypt. I want to see the pyramids. I want to go to again. Egypt. I haven't seen the pyramids. I want to go to see yeah, the pyramids. That was just so I definitely amazing. want to go to Egypt. Um, and I'd like to spend some time in like Northwestern America. Like I'd like to experience, like I really liked when I was not even just Northwest, but uh, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, like, you know, some like national park adjacent shit. That'd be, that'd be really cool. I think there's some amazing beauty in America that we kind of take for granted. Yeah. But it'd be cool to spend some time out there. Uh, let's do this last one. Cause this is a good one. Do you think the art of journalism is dying? K ham 25 wants to know. The art of journalism mm. is dead. Ooh, what you mean dying. Talk, talk it's to been, him. It's been dead. Don't get me wrong. You still have people who are journalists. You know what I mean? Who actually care about the craft of journalism. Like you know, if they're in music, they actually care about yeah. music. If they're you know uh, on TV, they actually care about news and they actually care about reporting the facts. But the art of journalism is dead because real journalists can't compete with the era that we're in. Mm. Because the era we're in, where Anybody can break news yep. via social media where it doesn't even matter if a story is true, where nobody cares about the truth if the lie is more yep. entertaining. Yep. Like everything is like this sensationalized uh, tabloid shit. Like whatever the tabloids were doing yep. in the 90s, that everything was interesting. Has become tabloid. In the 80s and yeah. the 90s, yes. Everything is like that yeah. just in a digital form. And, and you know, the news journalists were having hard times then. There's, there, 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 you can probably argue that. That's when shit started to shift. When people started to realize, man, there's more 
you get more hits and attention and sell more magazines when you do this racy celebrity gossip shit as opposed to this hard hitting news, you know, journalism. Like you yeah. can you can post a real like this is this is a real headline from this week. True story. I posted it. Real headline. Pentagon officials suggest alien mothership in our solar system could be sending many probes to Earth. New research paper in draft form comes from the Pentagon's All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office. You don't think this would have been a huge story 20 years ago? If something like this was in mainstream news like yeah. this story is. But no, y'all care about who put out the latest dick pics. Y'all care about who's fucking who. Y'all care about who's in the latest celebrity beef. Like everything has celebrity attached to it. Everything. Like mm. literally everything from politics to you know, uh, 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 religious scandals to, to to these these social justice causes people be championing. If celebrities aren't talking about them, if it's not being talked about on Shade Room and in, in, in TMZ, people truly don't care. So mm. when I when, when, with with that, yeah, journalism to me is dead. Interesting. Who's the big journalist? Who's the outlet that you consider journalist? New York Times. Wow. Yeah, that's why. That's all I got. Wow. I got the Times. Wow. You know? Yeah. And how many times, how many times, you can look at, these are very interesting articles that come out in the Times. How many of them go viral weekly? You're right. Mm. You're right. I'm just saying. Like, You're right. Wow. So I think journalism is dead. That's my opinion. Uh, that's all we got, Schultz? Yes, sir. As always, if you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right, too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening.